Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's June 27th and I'm coming at ya with a Barbella box unboxing. Woo! If you're already a subscriber, you know I am in a death trap of uploading videos totally out of order. So sometimes you'll see a video from March, you might see this video right now, which you will. It's the next video I'm editing. Um, one day we will get all of them edited and all of them uploaded. I have my very first classroom setup uh, layout already filmed as well. I just need to get my act together with the editing game and I'm working on it. But let's unbox this. Barbella Box is a $55 a month subscription. You could skip it at any time. This is not sponsored. This is not gifted. I pay for this myself out of my own pocket money because I genuinely enjoy it. So, ooh always gives you a cute little card I saw the preview of the like sneak peeks to know what the apparel item was so I knew that I wanted to keep it next month it's a pair of born primitive leggings and they're a solid color and I'm a girly that has three drawers of leggings and I prefer just patterned metallic glittery leggings I already have enough solids as is I don't need any more so I skip next month summer loving um June 2023 box let's get in it usually it tells you the values but uh nothing Huh. First off, we've got a shaker bottle, but no shaker. Cheap. <laughs> okay, okay, it says, meet me at the bar. I'm gonna be honest, I don't use these very often, and I already have. This one's nice because you can put two different things in there, so you can do a pre-workout on one side and a, um, like, protein on the other, just for, like, before the gym sort of thing. Like, as I said, I have plenty there. Uh, let's see. Oh look, another one. Um, so this would be blender bottle number four that I have. Not something I ever buy for myself because I prefer to use a blender to get all those chunks mixed up. I mean, if I'm in a pinch, I'll use one of these, but most of the time I'm a blender girl. I gotta wash this. Then we've got, this is a big size, Pure by Mud Masky, a body detox recovering mud mask before use patch test, blah, 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 blah. You're supposed to put this on your entire body. So if you're someone that has sensitive skin, that'd be a no. My skin could care less. So I could take a bath in motor oil and it'd be fine. So ooh, we'll try that sometime. Look at the main apparel item. I mean, this is what you guys are here for, right? Got a pair of like, I don't know, what would you call these? Sport shorts, biker shorts. Um, they're the Born Primitive brand. I've tried this brand before and I really like it. Best thing, these have pockets in them. Everybody loves shorts with pockets. So we're going to yoga pretty soon. We're going to wear these. We're going to have a great old time. But in the meantime, the dishwasher is going, of course. We've got some Stink Bud Slide Anti-Chafe Balm. And I'm going to be honest, I'm a skinny girl. I could still use this between the thighs. Not lying. Oh, a $20 code. I'm going to put this up here. If you're interested, have at it. I never buy anything Born Primitive online, just like I never buy anything Fleo or Gymshark online because it's just too expensive. TJ Maxx, man, that's where it's at. And then we've got two things of protein powder. Um, this is a, well, they're both chocolate. What's the difference? One's organic and one's elite. What's the difference? I don't know. We'll try them after the gym. I have two classes that I'm going to. I'm going to a kettlebell class and a yoga for all. Normally I only do one, but my like yoga friend that I've kind of met at classes is going to the yoga for all one. And so I think there's like an hour gap in between. So we might go to a little like local shop and get a little protein shake. Um, it's technically like Herbalife and I know a lot of people don't like that MLM brand and I personally I'm not a Herbalife person I don't buy any of the stuff but like in a pinch if I uh, need something somewhat healthy and I've got time on my hands I'll stop in if you uh, happen to like these got a little code for you I have lots of little protein packs that I get from here and they're really convenient but they're just not a flavor that I reach for all the time I'm sorry this is shaking my foot just hit it um I'm crooked too I use a, I can't even tell you what the brand is, but it's a marshmallow. It's like a Jiffy marshmallow flavor and I just get it at Walmart. It's like $35 for, you know, your typical protein shake container. And yeah, that's good enough. I don't need anything fancy. So let's get dressed, put this on, let's get to yoga. So they're pretty cute. The pockets are pretty nice too. Like I'd say that's 
phone equivalent. Paired it with my Calvin Klein, oh my gosh, so fancy, little tank thing uh, from TJ Maxx, of course, because I am cheap. Um, this is my preferred one for like hot yoga, just because I don't have to worry about like all the fabric being bunched around. When I'm attempting to do those higher level yoga poses and failing miserably, the last thing I need is more fabric getting in the way. I think the strangest thing about yoga is showing up like in sandals and not having socks. It's just something I can't get used to it. Because obviously when I go to the gym normally, I wear socks. Also, this yoga mat, like I really love it because it's so squishy, but it's starting to like show its age, especially in the inside where my feet are. And so I'm looking to buy a new yoga mat and I think I'm gonna buy one in the next couple weeks after I've done all my research, but I haven't decided yet exactly if I want an aloe, a Lululemon or a Manduku, Mandoko, something like that. I've been really researching which ones are the best, have a long-term like lifespan and a warranty. Hopped into Dollar Tree really quick. I'm looking for a new sink drain. I've gotten them here before. And then Alani New is supposed to be here too. Mm, yes, these. I've seen people posting that they found Alani New in their Dollar Tree and I was like, oh my gosh, Witch's Brew, my absolute favorite flavor in the whole wide world, in the Dollar Tree. Also, I could use a fancy beverage for today. Mmm, nothing. That never. I never have that sort of luck. Never. I do like this with my mango and my strawberries. So I'll get one of those and then... Mm, that sounds good. Hello. So yoga was good. Honestly, the kettlebell um, classes almost feel like cheating. Um, so we usually use a 10, a 15, and a 20. That's just the three weights that they have available. And so you do a warm up with the 10, moving forward in the line. We are in the Arby's drive through I know I said protein shake, but I forgot they close at two on Tuesdays and today is Tuesday. Tomorrow they're open till 6 p.m. And then I was like, oh, this is kind of a strange flavor. Strawberry lemonade, Arby's. Hi, I'm gonna get a large strawberry lemonade and then I'm going to get um, the four piece mozzarella sticks. Yes, please. Um, so that class was three to four and the next class is at 5.15. I like to get there about 10 minutes early. So I have like an hour to kill and Arby's is in the area of where I was gonna go anyway. So it all worked out and it all started because of this Dollar Tree electrolyte drink which honestly would have been better if it was just strawberry. The kiwi kind of makes it like a strange flavor, but it's fine. So this kettlebell class honestly just feels like something I would normally do at the gym. And when I'm doing kettlebells at the gym, I'm usually using a 25 and I'm doing things like goblet squats. This instructor likes to do like dead weight hangs, I think they're called, where you just like let it go and you're not actually using your legs to do any squatting. Anyways, so, we're doing a lot of these things for like two minutes and then you get like a 30 minute rest and then you do something else for two minutes, a lot of like interval training. And I don't really need the rest. So honestly, this entire hour, I mean, yeah, my heart rate was up, but I really wasn't doing anything significantly hard, even though my face makes it look like it, but that's just always like that. I never quite know what to put it as because it's not really yoga because you're moving so much. So I can't do this one handed. So I ended it when we started like the cool down time because that's just a lot of like you know, basic stretching and like uh, shavasana, I think is what it's called, where you're like doing your resting poses and then you do a child's pose, which everybody's like, oh my God, this is such a great stretch. That's not my favorite, but yeah. So my heart range, do, 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 181. And I'm sure that's when we were doing like the swings because I was using the 25 then. And that's a nice workout. Now, do I believe what the Apple watch says? No, but I guess it's nice to know. I personally, I never bother tracking calories, protein, any of that sugar nonsense. I'd say I'm protein conscious. I like to get a hundred grams in a day, but that's pretty easy considering like the protein shakes that I drink are like 30 grams, I think. And the yogurt I have in the morning is like 20. So it's pretty simple to get it in, which lets me go through all the drive throughs I want. All the McDonald's and the caribou's and the mozzarella sticks that I could ever want to eat. My mom always said, when you get older, that's gonna change. I'm like, well, mom, I don't think it's ever gonna change because I just got some weird genetics. And I wouldn't even say it's my metabolism. I just have some strange genetics. I feel like last year's summer, Monica is back. I know that I had mozzarella sticks and a strawberry lemonade probably once or twice a week last year during the summer. 
I'm not as addicted to them right now because I have all my fancy syrups and I've been making like pretty similar things, but mozzarella sticks, man. Just can't get enough of those. If you haven't ever had Arby's mozzarella sticks, highly recommend. So this class was one I struggled with and I knew I was gonna struggle with it because I'm just so uncoordinated. It's a lot from going from like cow, which is like, you know, kind of like your belly is like lower and then cat where you're supposed to like arch your back and I just can't do it very fluidly and that's what yoga is, like moving from one pose to another very fluidly. And then at the end, there's like five minutes where you're in corpse pose, AKA lay like flat on your mat. And like they say soothing things to you and there's soothing music and you're supposed to like zen out. I just don't zen out very nicely. So I just spend that entire five minutes like, I wonder, are we done yet? And I didn't stop my watch. So apparently I burned 391 calories doing that, which is absolutely totally untrue because I spent half of that time like struggling hardcore with my lack of flexibility. But that's fine. That's why we're here, right? Get that flexibility. I'm gonna head home and change into something else real quick and have a little snacky and then go to the gym, it's leg day. And I didn't really do much for legs yoga today. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna have a little cantaloupe watermelon. Maybe make a HelloFresh too. It's a little after, it's almost seven. So I'll probably have like two hours or so before I'd wanna go to bed after I get back from the gym. So I changed my mind. I think when I get back from the gym, we're gonna have mac and cheese and one of my favorite chicken sausages. Okay, so before I get a uh, shower changed and make my mac and cheese and my chicken sausage, I thought I would show you guys the couple yoga poses that I'm really trying to improve on. Okay. So like they call this downward dog and you're supposed to be able to go like way up like this, but I can't get higher than this and you're supposed to be and it hurts my elbow. So in one of the yoga sculpt classes I take, they do Russian twists. Basically you lay on your back like this and you have a weight and you go like this and I, need to be able to do it with a 10 for two minutes. I can do it with five and struggle, but ideally a 10 because that's what like other people in the class can do and I want to be the best. So I want to practice to do that. And then everything about the cat cow poses, I am just entirely awkward with those and I would love to improve them. And then of course, like the entire reason why I took yoga, not even close. So then, any of the poses that you're supposed to have straight legs for, you're supposed to be able to go like straight up. And I, I can't, like literally can't. And then there's several moves that are, like you go from a lunge like this. It's so like, a, they call it a runner's lunge. It's so like you're on your knee and you're like this. And you're supposed to be able to like, get your leg up here without using your hands and I can't do it. So things I'm trying to work on. So I have my, uh, this towel was in the way, it's just a hand towel. I have my water boiling for my mac and cheese. I'm gonna do the chicken sausage in the air fryer. Um, my favorite thing to do is right now is I'm really liking this, I think it's called Kosri Kosri. It's basically snail oil, which sounds really crazy, but I don't know. I've used it maybe five nights now and I, I don't know, I like the feeling. Um, the thing about this, uh, hot yoga is it really does dry my skin out. So just being like drenched in an oil. Now granted, a very expensive oil, TJ Maxx, thank you. Um, makes it just feel a little bit more hydrated. This stuff is like really expensive, like maybe like 40, $50 for the bottle this size. And I think I probably got it for about 20 something at TJ Maxx. Cause again, I don't pay full price on beauty stuff. So this is the chicken sausage that I like just from Walmart. The best part is it's individual. So I don't have to worry about like the package going bad. 13 grams of proteins for one little sausage. So then it's just 370, 10 minutes, go. And then our friend mac and cheese is ready for us. This kind and spiral are my favorite. And I'm sad to say that I generally eat the whole pot. Here we have it. Dinner is served. Chicken sausage and mac and cheese. I'm gonna eat my dinner. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.